How's it going you guys? Kyle, or Epic here, with another tutorial for you all this week on The Castaway. A long way tutorial and I'm finally getting out of the way for you guys so you guys can get out there, start training it, and hopefully you guys will throw up some video responses to this video here so I know that my tutorial is working for you. A few things that I highly recommend you get down before you're doing this. Before you do this. Back flip, palm flip, and a cast. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hope that you already have your back flip down, and I'm gonna hope you already have a decent understanding as to how the palm flip works. And with that, let's get to it. Let me show you how it looks, and we'll get through breaking it down. What, you think I was gonna do it on this? I ain't rushing. All right, let's start with the basic part, the cast. And the cast part is probably the hardest part. The cast looks like this, like that. But what you don't wanna do is arch your back. You want to try and keep your body stiff after the cast. So once you actually cast out, lift your hips and your feet up behind you. Mostly your hips, but get your feet up pretty there. That's why you're trying to stay, stay straight like a plank. When you're starting your cast, you're here. Push down with your hands. Get your shoulders down. You don't want your shoulders up by your ears. You're going to lean forward. Bring your feet in front like here and cast away like that. You're going to push with your hips. Throw your feet back, but don't arch your back and push away with the bar. You don't want your feet going higher than your hips because that'll make your back arch. Keep your hips up because you want to be able to push into that tuck and that happens very fast so don't wait for it. Feel it and control it. The castaway is not one of those moves you just want to kind of go for and wing it a couple times. You really want to make sure you have control over this part here. This is the most important part. Everything else comes easy if you have your back flip and a decent understanding of the palm flip. But if you don't understand this cast movement, this movement will be damn hard. So get this down. Cast. All right, you can go cast off or you can cast back to the bar. You gotta get your hips and your belly away. And by using your feet to go under and leaning forward with your chest to bend in half, you kind of create like a slingshot whip. So when your body expands, it's like a bow and arrow that shoots you up and out. And you keep your hands pressed away, but you wanna make sure you feel the one secret that will make this work. And that's this part. And that's where understanding the palm flip comes in handy. Because when the palm flip, you're going straight up and you're pushing off your hands. And as your hands go this way, your feet go up. And that creates the back flip part. If you understand me, if you're following me, you'll see that by pushing off here, gets your upper body going backwards. But bring your feet up in front of you, gets your lower body going forwards, which will create the rotation and make the back up off. If you don't have that down, this will not work as easily. So make sure you get a feel for that. Here's how you know it, and you can do a timer for this too. You can go cast, push, and get that extra height. And that's how you can walk yourself through it on ground, and then go to a pit if you have a pit, go to a bars with mats if you have a bars with mats, and just get that part down. Other than that, once you cast and you press away, push off, and as your hands push, you bring your knees in front to your chest into a tuck. As you go into that tuck, you don't bring your hands down. Keep your hands just focusing on the push. Your knees going up will meet your hands. At that moment, you grab your knees and pull more, and that's what pulls the tuck around. Since after that, that's the movement, that's the part where understanding how to do a back flip will come in handy, and you'll know, tuck tight. When you see the ground, control that landing, and then you just did a castaway. Now when it comes to differences between bars and walls, walls are very much the same thing, but obviously you have a wall there so you can't actually bring your feet forward otherwise you just have to kick. So what you have to rely on is leaning forward and allowing the momentum of you leaning to get your hips up and off. So kind of like you're doing the worm, you wanna roll as you kick your feet up, but then you bring your hips up to follow. So you start rolling like this, and then as you push with your hands, because your hands are at the base, your hands should be anyways, as you push, off, you get your hips back up. So you're here, lean here, and then the cast will works the exact same way from there. Other than that, drill it over and over and over. Control it, master it. The more you drill it, the better you'll get. Understand it, don't wing it. Please, if you learn this through this tutorial, post a video response so I can see my tutorials are working for you guys. I always accept almost every video response, so I would love to see that my tutorials are working for people around there. Nothing more to do, thanks for watching you guys. Take great care. Stay fine.